Oh, we live? What to do, beautiful people? The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. It's your boy, F.I.L. I'm back again with another episode of Styles by Philly. So today's episode of Styles by Philly, we are going to discuss about this very interesting, something I never thought I would have copped, something I never thought I would even wear. But you know what? I got the chance to get all three pairs. So your boy did what he did and he went straight for the kill. I mean, went straight for the jugular on this one, to be honest. So on today's episode, we are going to discuss these Crocs, Polex Clogs by Salehi Bambari. You know, he's been making a lot of noise lately, but I would say his catalog goes further back than the noise that he's making now. Like, I mean, if you're a fan and you had your ears to the street, you would definitely know who this guy is. So on today's episode, I'm gonna give you my opinions, my first impressions on them, and a review of how I feel about this um, croc clog. Um, you know, let you know how I came about it and my honest opinions about it all. And like always, you're gonna put some dope, dope outfits at the very end. So let's get into it. I found my way, mission accomplished. I got it now, far from afraid. Can nothing haunt me, confident now my life is great. Can nothing stop me, don't count me out, ain't got no ways. Ain't stuff for nothing, I found my rock. Hey yo, so before we even start, I just want to let y'all know to make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on to make sure you know when Philly posts a video, he's about to come with some fire. But anyways, let's continue on with this first impression, review, styling that I'm going to talk about and put together with these Salehi Bambari Croc clogs. A little bit about Salehi Bambri, you know, his resume extends a very, very long one, I would say. He's been in the industry for quite some time, but I think he's very on the down low. And unless you know who he is or what he's done and you kept your ears to the street, you really wouldn't know who this guy is. To give you a little background about Salehi Bambri, you know, he's a guy that actually studied industrial design in university. So after graduation, he actually worked for a company like Payless and designed their footwear. But from that, he actually jumped into doing designs for Yeezy. So Kanye actually had hired him and you know he helped put the footwear together for seasons three and four of the Yeezy brand. And from that, his path went into becoming what now is the vice president of sneakers and footwear for Versace. So congratulations to this guy for having such an extensive resume and doing such a big, you know, making a big impact in the fashion industry. And not only that, he's also able to do his own collaborations uh, when it comes to working out of Versace now. So we've seen collaborations with New Balance and now we see the collaborations with Crocs, which is dope in my opinion. So we see that he is ringing bells in the fashion industry and what he's putting out is not nothing less than amazing. You know what I mean? Like every design that he's put out is pretty dope. So now going back into my first impression with these shoes, to be honest, I never thought it would be only a pair of Crocs. It wasn't really on my wish list. It wasn't on my, hey, to-do list or to, to buy list. But it's very interesting that I've always been a fan of Crocs. I just couldn't see myself rocking them. Reason being is because aesthetically it wasn't to my liking. I did not think I would buy them and rock them in with what I was wearing at the time or at any time, to be honest. It wasn't really my fashion choice. Interesting thing about the Crocs is that they started actually as a design here in Canada. So I can definitely say that these are Canadian. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. And the design was based off being a boating shoe, which is cool because now I understand a little more why it is what it is in regards to the holes, the, the style, the aesthetic of it, right? So it's really meant for boating. So, you know, it'd be really interesting to see a guy with the yacht having these on, but it's really cool to see that they're managing to tap into the fashion industry a lot more now with not only the purpose that the shoe is meant for, but to give it a better design. Now, personally, like I said, I wasn't a fan of Crocs, but I always said I would rock it if someone redesigned the shoe. And I'm not going to say and sit that this is the reason why I copped them because the reason the first time I ever copped anything that looked like this was the Easy Foam Runner. Well, as soon as I saw that, I was like, damn, I got to have those because this is something I can see myself rocking. But now with Salehi putting out designs like this, 
it's very, very, very interesting to me because I can see myself rocking this. You know, I was skeptical about pulling the trigger on it. I knew people wanted them bad. There was a huge hype behind it. And I was able to get all three pairs because, you know, your boy had to get it as soon as they gave him that notification that three pairs were available for him. So these Crocs are called the Pollux Crocs Clog by Salehi Bambri, for those who may not know. So Pollux is the innermost digit of the forelimb, so your thumb. So I've seen a few people talk about how this is his fingerprint. So I guess this, the design of these Crocs were based on his thumbprint. Interesting concept. I like it because through this shoe, you see his thumbprint throughout the whole shoe. Now I've seen previous you know, um, sneakers with the same idea. I believe Jordan has done, Jordan brand has done it with their sneakers where they've had Michael Jordan's fingerprints at the bottom sole of the shoe. But this is a lot different now. We're talking about, this is like a whole thumb as footprint when you really think about, I mean, as footwear when you really think about it, which is really interesting because it gives it a very interesting concept in design, but still gives it that clog, uh, Crocs look, which is pretty awesome. If I were to compare it to anything that's full related right now like you know your Yeezy foam runners or your California slip-ons I would definitely say these are at the very bottom when it comes to not comfort well let's say comfort per se because you want to know how soft it is right so they are very sturdy but it's hard for me to compare all these shoes together because they're all meant for different lifestyles in life for example the California slip-on is a more luxurious comfort level of footwear you know you can wear those things with suits and I have personally I've gone to my workplace people give me compliments and I don't have my boss telling me hey you need to go change so that's the cool thing about the California slip-on. Now the Yeezy Foam Runner is a little bit different. It's very more streetwear, very more casual, but it is a lot softer than these Croc clogs. I think, and this is my personal opinion, I think the reason why they're not as soft as your California slip-on or your Yeezy Foam Runner is due to the fact that it's really meant for some outdoor, experience for your feet you know what i mean so it's not just you know uh, an aesthetic thing it's more so like if you're out i can see myself like for example i can see myself rocking this going on some hikes in the forest you know trying to feel cozy as opposed to wearing hiking boots or anything like that right uh have my feet breathe like i can take my socks off if i need to cross a river from one end to the other and they could you know let let the water just flow through my crocs and you know let my feet get wet and then afterwards my feet will dry up right away you know like i can see myself doing a lot of adventurous activities with these as opposed to let's say the foam runner which is meant for like more walking purposes you know it, i feel that the foam runner when you're walking in it it breaks the impact of your step which is easier on the knees so in regards to comfort like i said when it comes to all the the the, the, the footwear that i just uh, spoke about i would say these are at the very least comfortable but nonetheless they are comfy now when it comes to sizing i would definitely recommend people if you want that snug fit to size down i went with a size 10 which is sometimes my true to size because i do have a wide foot so i like wearing nine and a half uh just because it is snug it does hurt sometimes depending on the silhouette or the shoe uh but usually when it comes to anything that's full sizes i either go a full size up with the exception of any fear of god footwear so i want a full size up basing um the sizing like if it were going to be like a easy foam runner but to my uh surprise they fit a not a lot they fit you know a little wider a little looser than your easy foam runner it didn't fit uh snug or anything like that but this is the interesting thing about this clog when i put my foot in and if you see inside of the clog there is these ridges that are meant for the foot so and when i put my foot in those ridges like my foot fits very very well within those ridges now my surrounding areas are on my foot there is a bit of space, but I believe that is because, like I said, I can see myself doing some, you know, adventurous activities with these clogs. And if you know, when you wear your shoes constantly and you're out and about constantly walking, your feet swell. And I feel that you wearing these and constantly, you know, if you're out and about, you know, constantly walking, your feet will swell and they won't feel fit as loose as you may think they are. But 
my recommendation when it comes to sizing is that if you do want that snug fit right away i would go a a, a size down so i can definitely see myself wearing a size nine um i don't I, it'll fit perfectly snug but at the same time i'm okay with these size tens this is my personal opinion though now when it comes to these straps on the back of the shoe you know very interesting because i've never owned a pair of clogs i didn't think that they were something useful because I tried doing all sorts of things and maneuvers. I thought I could kind of put the, that strap in to kind of make it fit a little bit, you know, uh, you know, give it a bit more snug um, or tighter on my on my foot. Uh, it didn't work, so I really don't know if these straps work or how how well they work if you were to use them. Again, my first time experiencing and using clogs for the I'm sorry Crocs for the first time, so I couldn't really tell you. Now, in regards to traction for the foot the undersole of the um croc it does have two types of materials on it uh one of them being a more sturdy rubber um piece where i feel you can get more traction and more grip when you're walking out and about and this is what made me believe that it's meant for outdoor purposes like i'm telling you like going to the forest and you know having a vibe out there and also with the straps on these crocs you could take them off like i believe any other crocs you can definitely do that so you can take them off uh if you if you don't like them i know a lot of people put some pins or some um i don't know what they call them i think they're meant for the for the crocs i'm sorry if i'm offending anybody who's a big croc fan you know i'm not really into this and i don't really put pins in my shoes so but you could definitely do the same thing with these with these salehi bamboo uh clogs in regards to colorway they have these three colorways that they released which is i believe the urchin which is like a lavender color or they call it a mauve mist the stratus which is the almost white or what you would consider like a white uh croc and the green one which is a, called crocodile or basically green i think they're all dope colorways if you definitely want something to pop at the bottom of your feet i would definitely go with the green my favorite out of all of these are the stratus i can see myself there's something about the stratus that i kind of like gravitated towards and i was like man i can see myself rocking this more often and to be honest the urchin or the the mauve mist or lavender color per se is growing on me i just don't know how i would rock it and with what i'd rock it but i usually like my typically to keep my footwear if i'm gonna i can see myself wearing it more than once because if it's just gonna be a one-time wear with a one-time outfit i don't really like vibing with that i would like to make sure that i can wear it more than once with multiple and different outfits another thing i noticed about this uh these crocs is that the straps are really really cool actually especially on the stratus it gave me this like oatmeal or heather gray vibe on it i like it because i can wear it with my uh light oatmeal things uh tracks with for my for my fear god essentials collection the crocodile too it had this you know heather green type uh strap which is really cool the urchin not so much the urchin it just looked straight plain you know lavender purple i mean in the light it looks a little bit different but it doesn't really pop like the other two straps overall opinion when it comes to these crocs is if you really want to pair them i would definitely go and try them out don't be afraid to be different i see a lot of people not liking them but i see a lot of people who feel like there's a, a must have you know go crazy for them i think if you're out in the market to definitely go and you know grab a pair you know the resale is pretty high on them which is crazy but you know we see a lot of the resale for these foam um footwear you know up there because you know they do sell out really quick i will say this that i noticed that there's also going to be six different colorways that's going to come out with these uh pollux uh clogs very different colorways one thing i noticed about with his color palettes that he's picking for these uh crocs is that they're they, they're all different like it's not really like this one is a lighter color than this it's like really like you got yourself a forest green and i'm going to give you a straight black one um or you got this lavender you know urchin color now i'm giving you give you like a forest you know design looking on on on, on pallid you know camel looking thing now we're gonna get to the best part of the video which is putting these outfits together so you guys can see how i myself would aesthetically rock these salehi bamboo clog crocs together let's get to it Yeah. Oh, I 
petit bison sur le pays. I found my way, mission accomplished. I got it now, far from afraid. Can nothing haunt me? Confident, now my life is great. Can nothing stop me? Don't count me out, ain't got no ways. Ain't stuff for nothing. I found my route, I found my way. Mission accomplished. I got it now, far from afraid. Can nothing haunt me? Confident, now my life is great. Can nothing stop me? Don't count me out, ain't got no ways. Ain't stop for nothing. I found my route. Oh, yeah. Lapping all you hating hoes. I got to wander around my amazing flow. I'm loving fresh, wearing all these clothes. Get out my way or get ran over, ho. Trying to make my music come out. And in the process, I lost dollars and emptied out my student account. In the beginning, I knew I'd make back a useless amount. The kind of numbers you wouldn't count and put on a frown. But the plan is to move forward and never give up. Evolve in every single moment and keep your head up. Learn my presence is in essence worth more than a buck. If you see me, wanna be me, I know you're starstruck. I found my way, mission accomplished. I got enough I'm far from afraid. Can nothing hard be confident? I'm my life is great. Can nothing stop me? Don't count me out, ain't got no ways. Ain't stop for nothing. I found my route, I found my way. Mission accomplished. I got enough I'm far from afraid. Can nothing hard me? Confident? I'm my life is great. Can nothing stop me? Don't count me out, ain't got no ways. Ain't stop for nothing. I found my route. Do you wanna make commas, earn high volume and live debt free? Do you wanna be Obama, make progress and be like he? Do you wanna drop the llamas, fuck the drama and be Jay-Z? Or do you wanna smoke on you, be a freedom fighter like Bob Marley? Many different avenues and lace to drive. Follow the heart and intuition and make up the mind. The perfect moment is now to make up lost time. Can't leave things until tomorrow if you're on your grind. These are the habits I empowered. I'm limitless by the hour. I'll face my fears as a man. And a thousand deaths as a coward When it rains it pours Embracing painted to hot showers Ask irrelevant questions You can get pressed like Nathan Down I found my way, mission accomplished I got it now far from afraid Can nothing haunt me, confident Now my life is great Can nothing stop me, don't count me out Ain't got no ways, ain't stop for nothing I found my route, I found my way Mission accomplished, I got it now far from afraid Can nothing haunt me, confident Now my life is great Can nothing stop me, don't count me out, ain't got no ways, ain't stop for nothing, I found my route, oh! I found, 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 I found my way, I found my way. I must say I put some pretty dope fits together. You know, I'm kind of surprised that I purchased a pair of Crocs to have in my closet to style. I never thought in my lifetime I would have done that. I always, you know, kept my distance from them, look at them from afar. Was a fan, but didn't really catch my attention to the point where I want to buy a pair. But now I feel like I can rock these to, you know, on a very, very, very occasional day uh, to be very casual to do, you know, my grocery shopping or even to go see my nephew skate at the park and looking like that cool ass uncle that has these very weird looking but dope shoes. Let me know in the comment box below how you guys feel about this Leahy Bambri release with Crocs, how you guys feel about the colorway. It's a lot lighter than what the previous drop was. You know, let me know how you guys feel about the outfits. How you guys feeling the outfits I put together? Hopefully they motivated you or inspired you to try something new or give you a little bit of a guidance in regards to, you know, trying something a little bit different if it's not what you usually wear. Check the description box below for all the details in regards to the outfits. You'll see full details in regards to the outfits there. And I really want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. It's been growing. I really appreciate that. You know, I'm trying to drop a lot of consistent videos for you guys to see what I have and what I've purchased because there's a lot, believe it or not. And I want to say thank you everyone for checking out my music. If you check the description box below, you'll see there's all the links to my music there. Thank you for supporting that. More music on the way real, real soon. Trust me. With that being said, love, peace and happiness. Peace. And not your typical, you know, brown or green that he released. You know, let me, you know, you know, yeah, we know. <laughs> we know, we know. You know, he's actually gone to university for architecture. No, design, design, architecture, design, shit. Yo, those were some dope outfits. Oh, no. And then, and that pretty much, no. My overall opinion when my overall opinion when my 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 overall opinion when it comes to